The song I'll House You by the Jungle Brothers is a classic hip house track, fusing hip hop and house music together, but it almost didn't make the record. Today I'm breaking down the classic song I'll House You by the Jungle Brothers, tracing a line through multiple other house songs that are sampled within it, talking with Jungle Brothers member Africa Baby Bam about how this song happened. We went to the studio and the uh, engineer was like, yo, I got an idea. You guys want to make a house record? And seeing how this fusion of genres has impacted music all the way through today. So in 1988, the Jungle Brothers released their debut album, Straight Out the Jungle. This is an important album for multiple reasons. For one, it's the first album of the Native Tongues Collective, which was a group of artists that also included De La Soul, A Tribe Called Quest, Queen Latifah, Moni Love, and more, who had a more positive Afrocentric vibe, contrasting other harder hip hop like NWA's Straight Outta Compton. I've talked about this before in my video on the Native Tongues. But the second reason is what we're talking about today. In the middle of this classic hip hop album is the song I'll House You, which is a combination of genres. The whole album sounds like a bunch of high schoolers having fun because that's exactly what it is. And as Bam told me, that's the key to the whole thing. Well, in that era, it was like youth with no adult supervision. So that's the that's like the backstory of all of these records. It's not just the records. It's it's that it's yeah. that moment in time where it's like you as a teenager yes. got something going on that is not on your parents' radar. And then you meet other people through that connection, you know what I'm saying? We was on that nightlife stuff, you know, early as youngins, you know what I'm saying? Like out late. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there was a lot going on when you went out there. The hip hop jams, house parties, all of that stuff was going on. Part of Red Alert mentoring me was taking me to these clubs, like the ones he yeah. was doing. And then when he wasn't doing those clubs, he'd take me to other clubs, like the rooftop and stuff like that. And like be the fly on the wall. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm getting in with him when I'm not supposed to be in there. And he's showing me around like, Ultra Magnetic MCs, Ochoski Love, or Pookie Down Productions. So uh, he's like mentoring me, basically. DJ Red Alert is a crucial part of the Native Tongue story and hip hop history in general. He gave groups like Tribe, Black Sheep, and Queen Latifah their first radio airplay. He was also the uncle of Jungle Brothers member Mike G and helped mentor the group. Red was already in the hip hop world and showed them behind the curtain a bit, showing this new generation of hip hop artists what it was really like. But it wasn't just hip hop. There was a lot of music happening all over New York City. And while Red Alert was a huge hip hop DJ, there was one record in particular that would have a huge influence on a young Africa baby band. There was this one record he would play at midnight as the last record to see everybody off in Latin quarters, which was Move Your Body by Marshall Jefferson. Yeah. And I that's when I picked up on House. I was like, because before that, I was a big go-go head. Like, I was into go-go, like, yeah. trouble funk and all that. Outside of the hip-hop stuff, I was rocking the go-go. And when he put this record on, and the lights came on, I was like, yo, it's like the party's getting ready to start again. Like, why is everybody going on? What is this record? And it was just yeah. like, dun, 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 dun. And I was like, yo, that's crazy. So some of those dancers there, I watch where they was going like oh yeah we going down the town this other spot da, da, da. and it'd be full-on house whole night so yeah. i got more of those rhythms in my soul from hanging out with them by the way bam and i spoke for about an hour about not only this song but the jungle brothers the native tongues and his latest project that full conversation is available now on the youtube channel digging the talks or the Dig in the Greats podcast. Check the description for links to both. We'll play this Marshall Jefferson record in just a moment, but first, a few quick notes about house music. I don't have time to dive into the full history in this video, but quickly, in the early 80s, radio DJs in Chicago are playing all kinds of music. Disco, electro funk, electronic pop, Italo disco, artists like Africa Bambata. You know, the electronic leaning hip hop pioneer who Africa Baby Bam named himself after. These DJs start doing custom edits, mixing in synthesizers, drum machines, and vocal samples. One of these early house music pioneers is Marshall Jefferson. In 1986, he released Move Your Body, which used these electronic elements and was one of the first house songs to feature piano. 
There are several crucial elements to this track. First is the drums. These are programmed from a drum machine, specifically the Roland 707. The 808 is a hip hop staple and the 909 will become a house classic, but it's not just about the sound, it's about the beat. This beat is four on the floor, meaning the kick drum is happening on all four beats with no syncopation. Funk and soul music, and by extension hip hop, tend to have a syncopated kick drum, not four on the floor. Combine that with the snare and hi-hats played through a drum machine, which gives perfect metronomic time. You got a house beat. This song also features syncopated piano chords. These contrast the straightforward drums. This is now a house music staple, but at the time in 1986, this was a new idea. Marshall Jefferson actually recorded these piano chords much slower and sped them up. Now, just for the contrast, let's add back that four on the floor drums. Add a little deep bass in there. You got a house track going. These are the rhythms that Bam says he got into his soul from going to these house parties. This song, Move Your Body by Marshall Jefferson, was a favorite of Bam's and many people in the house music scene. This song's been sampled many times in house tracks like Pump Up the Jam by Technotronic and finally by CeCe Peniston. But before both of those, it was sampled by Royal House for the song Can You Party, which was produced by Todd Terry. You can hear more samples chopped in here, but underneath all of that is that same driving four on the floor kick drum and a syncopated piano. And actually, this is not the first time Todd Terry had sampled Marshall Jefferson. He had done the same thing for the Royal House song, Party People. House music continued to spread and soon a subgenre began to emerge, hip house, combining house music with hip hop. So this is all happening in the midst of the Jungle Brothers forming and recording their debut album. When they were nearing the end of the album, a casual series of events would lead to one of the most significant songs in hip house history. And then one day after school, towards the end of the album, we went to the studio and the uh, engineer was like, yo, I got an idea. You guys want to make a house record? And I was like, yeah, play it. And the record that he played was like the third version of a record that chopped up Marshall Jefferson, Move Your Body. So I was like, I know the original. Yeah. I know three of the remixes. So I just scribbled something in 20 minutes and went in the booth and just was partying in the booth basically. And that's yeah. how she came about. And I never thought of it as like hip house or a house record. It was pure going through that whole our house you moment recording that record was pure i mean the term our house you came from the hip-hop side when you, you you talk about knocking someone out somebody out i'm a house you you know yeah. what i'm saying but it, that's how i came up with the title and it was like oh okay this is like a double entendre and then i thought oh for house music for knocking someone out and then for a girl you're like yeah i put you in my house so it's like oh now it's a triple entendre okay triple, cool yeah and that's how that became like a banger, like an anthem for a house uh, for house music. All of this led to the classic hip house track, The Jungle Brothers, I'll House You. Underneath this, we got that same four on the floor beat. The piano's a little bit different. We got some strings in there because it's chopped. We've got other samples mixed in there from multiple sources, along with new edits. And of course, JB's rapping on top. You know what's up, let your mind be free, relax your body. All House You isn't the first hip house song recorded, but it helped bring new attention to the emerging subgenre. But also, it almost didn't make the record. Well, right, initially it didn't. The label didn't like it, and the original pressing of Straight Out the Jungle does not include I'll House You. The label reluctantly released this song on cassette, but after the song began to blow up and DJs demanded a vinyl version, the album was remastered to include I'll House You. This song ended up being the biggest hit from the album, bringing attention to the Jungle Brothers, hip house, house music, and the native tongues. But if there were other hip house songs, why did I'll House You specifically take off? BAM credits one person in particular. It was the Marshall Jefferson um, Move Your Body joint that was the, the broth of that whole movement. Yeah. The hip yeah. house movement for me, for the hip house movement. Yeah. You yeah. know, there was other, there was 
I think Twin Hype, there was Tyree Cooper, there were other house records with rap on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Coming out. But we happened to have a record that sampled that anthem from house from a house artist, which was Movie yeah. Body. Hip house and house music would continue to grow and expand all over the world. You can hear the house influence in later Jungle Brothers albums as well. This influence can be seen not only in hip hop and house music, but pop music as well. Like Beyonce's Renaissance would not be the same without All House Youth. But for Bam, it was never about following genres. It was about following what you love. I love that it's like you're saying, it's from such a, a pure place. You're not thinking about specifically Okay, it's got to it's got to be this, or I got to make it this, or this, or this. You're just following what you like, and then that leads yeah, you to. Yeah, because you think that era I would call the jam. Yeah. You go to the jam, and you're gonna hear things that keep the body rocking, and it don't yeah. have to be one type of thing. Yeah, that's like that's like pure creativity, it's just mixing it all together. You're just playing good records. Bam has continued to follow the jam throughout his career. Whether that's through the native tongues and going a fun, Afrocentric direction, or house music like I'll House You and later Jungle Brothers stuff, or what he's doing now. His latest project is punk rock. Bam has continually defied convention, gone against the grain, and followed the jam. In our full conversation, we speak for an hour about his career, the formation of the Jungle Brothers, stories like the making of the Native Tongues classic, Buddy, meeting Queen Latifah for the first time, and so much more. But for that conversation, you gotta click here.